All right, here we go. That's right, it's those stinking triangular prisms. Still giving some of you guys fits. So here's a video. Hopefully it helps you out. If not, I don't know what to do. So uh, this is a quiz question today. As it says up here, um, this is a triangular prism. How do we know? Because prisms have two identical parallel bases. There it is, right there. Base, base, triangle. So first of all, let's find the surface area since that's what the first thing was you had to do. So to find the surface area, you want the area of every surface. I'm going to start with top and bottom. The top is a triangle. How do we find the area of a triangle? Base times height divided by 2. Well, how do we locate the base and height of a triangle? We just find the right angle. That's what I said to do for 7th grade. So if we locate the right angle, we've got 3 and 4. doesn't matter what you call the base and the height. So 3 times 4 makes 12. But it's a triangle, so we divide by 2. That's 6. So the area of the top is 6 square centimeters, which means the area of the bottom is 6 square centimeters. Now I'm going to look at the front. The front is a rectangle that is 5 centimeters by 10 centimeters. 5 times 10 makes 50. Then I'm going to take a look at the back. Uh, we've got kind of two sides on the back over there. This one's a rectangle, it's 4 by 10, that makes 40. And then right over here, this is a rectangle that is 3 by 10, that makes 30. So the surface area is all this added up, so 30 and 40 is 70, plus 50 is 120, plus 12. So our surface area is 132 centimeters squared. Now for the volume. The volume of a prism is area of the base, big B, times the height. Well, what is the base? It's a triangle. It's a triangular prism. Therefore, the base is a triangle. That's why it's called a triangular prism. So, we already calculated the area of the base right here, 6. So, I'm just going to say the base has an area of 6 and the height is 10. Remember the height of the overall prism comes off of the base. It always runs into the base or it's perpendicular to the base. So if the base is right here or here, the height must come off of it. So 6 times 10 makes 60 and this is centimeters cubed. Done.